Yo, it's your boy Jen. On today's video, we have Villain Saga Season 2, Episode 17, and probably the most depressing video, or probably the most depressing episode yet. There's a bunch of like sad things happen here, but it starts off with where it left off in the last episode. That is, Dwarfin is fighting Snake, and it's like I would say the fight was pretty well animated. It was mostly Dwarfin just dodging all his attacks man snake has like a very unique sword cool looking sword so it was kind of hard for Dwarfin to fight him with no weapons at all so he doesn't kill Dwarfin and he does get some punches in him and they both respected each other's like well, fighting styles or you know these guys were just you know Dwarfin is a slave and snake is a bodyguard and for a bodyguard just to protect the farm, he's pretty damn good is what Dorfin is saying. Just before Dorfin like, was gonna get attacked, he dodges his attack, but Snake is now behind where Gardar is and he's going to you know get his revenge. And Arnhead, she, she was begging for him to stop. And Snake was like he had a pretty good argument. And that is that this guy killed five people and even though they're like scumbags and pretty much like good for nothing people is that how much is he worth if he's killed five people or something like that so he decides to stab him and he thought he was dead because he pulls his sword off and guard dart he is not human at all guys he got stabbed and I thought he got stabbed in the heart, but I think his knife didn't go through his, uh, I think he just hit him like halfway because he woke up and just choked Snake. And I think Snake is dead because he was choking him and Snake couldn't really do nothing. He was trying to stab him in the back and he couldn't really do nothing. And even Dwarfin was trying to like break him loose and that was not going to work. And the only way, and the only time he was gonna let go was with Arnhead. And she was like saying like things like now I thought Ar <clears throat> now I thought Garda was gonna die instantly, but he was slowly dying. He was like he uh, he has he has lost so much blood, he is not human guys. So yeah, Gardard and Arnhead escaped with the with the horse and a wheel and a cart. And when they were riding it together, Garda was having like good flashback with, with his sons. He was like when he raised them, when he was born. And there are some bad flashbacks of, you know, when he was a slave. So it looks like Garda was slowly dying and he was seeing like his whole life of what happened. Yeah, slowly but surely he was dying and finally. When he finally dies, he passes out next to on his like lap, and he was like saying he's home, and he's saying he when he and we saw what his vision was, and that is that he was he went home and he saw his son, and I guess this is kind of like heaven where they're both together happy ever after, and he seems like he finally dies, and then we have Arnett who's all by herself. And she looked like she was about to get captured by the other, the other uh, bodyguards, whatever they are. And that is when the episode ends, guys. So, yeah, it was pretty much of a sad ending for this Gardar Lord arc. And it was pretty. I didn't really. I'm not, I'm not like a crier, but uh, I'm not like a crier, so I didn't really cry as much. But I'm sure there are a lot of people were saying that it was very sad, very depressing. You know, it wasn't really like a happy ending for no, no, nobody. But yeah, guys, that's the end of the episode. Uh, let me know your thoughts. Did you guys cry or did you think this was like a pretty sad one? I feel like we needed more of Gardar scenes, maybe. I don't know. I feel like we shouldn't. We didn't get to learn him a lot. I mean, we did see like a lot of flashbacks, but. Maybe how his life was as like a slave because we didn't get to see that much. Maybe it was too, maybe it was too good. But yeah, guys, 
be sure to like subscribe and also i am getting like a new pc because the one i have right now guys it's kind of like dying i'm not sure what really happened to it but it's like on its last day so if you don't see me upload that's probably why it's just it might take me a while to actually build the pc because i'm gonna get all the parts and who knows where i'm gonna get all that stuff you know i'm a noob when it comes to pc building so yeah wish for me no guys and other than that i'll see you next one peace